fair to say Donald Trump has unfinished business. And it's also fair to say he could well be considered the most divisive figure in American politics. Donald Trump's presidency was riddled with controversy and a hatred by Democrats. There were two failed impeachment attempts, Russian collusion scandals, politicized FBI investigations and sex allegations that all were created and failed to bring Trump down. But in 2020, Trump lost his presidency under what some Americans claim was a rigged election, as does Donald Trump, which is why the billionaire businessman is tipped to run again for the presidency and have as his running mate, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Join us to discuss Trump's re-election bid is Informer's US correspondent, Katie Dixon. Welcome, Katie. Thanks for having me, Michael. Uh, good to be back. So will President Trump run? What, what is the goss there in Texas? Well, I, I think it's always been something that, you know, we've expected from Trump since he lost to Joe Biden. Uh, he recently said in an interview that he has made up his mind. So I think we are expecting him to make that announcement that he will run. However, um, in the, the same interview he's done recently, he said it's just a matter of when and uh, he's referring to whether he'll make that announcement before midterms on November 8th or after. Some are saying that announcing it before midterms will take some of the spotlight off the Democrats and Joe Biden and things like that. It'll draw attention to Trump. It'll put pressure on them. Um, some people are saying to wait until after the midterms as well. But uh, I think there's, uh, there's no doubt in anyone's mind that he will run again. Um, interestingly enough, you can announce that you are going to run and not actually run. So that is another theory that people are going with as well, that they're, they're thinking he's going to say he'll run, you know, kind of make everyone a little nervous and, and not actually run when the time comes. Mm. Now, Ron DeSantis is an interesting figure. He's got a fairly high approval rate. I think it was up in the 25%. Has he confirmed that he's uh, up for running as Donald Trump's running mate, or does he have designs on the, the uh, presidency for himself? Nothing's been officially said. I think that certainly everybody wants them to run together and they they appear in the public eye to be, be good friends and have a good relationship uh, behind closed doors. You just never know. And once again, it all comes down to, you know, it's really a big game, isn't it? It's like a chessboard. There's so many pieces that go on behind it. And while we might see one thing, other things are going on. Uh, interestingly enough, talking about polls, uh, uh, DeSantis is actually gaining ground on popularity on Trump. So now it's the question of will he run with Trump as Trump goes for the presidency or will Trump back down and will DeSantis go for it and Trump will support him and, and say that's who he's backing. There's so many um, ups and downs, but it definitely seems that he is the number one contender to do this thing with Trump and what every, everybody wants too when you talk to people. And talking about uh, running mate com combinations, given Joe Biden's extremely low uh, popularity in the polls, it doesn't look good for him, especially for the Democrats in midterm. But there's even talk about uh, Michelle Obama and California Gov Governor Gavin Newsom running together. Is that a real thing or is it just more hype? I think it's a little bit more hype, honestly. Uh... I've heard that theory being thrown around. Gavin Newsom, obviously, he is in the in the public face all the time. He's always on, uh, in the media and and making bold claims and statements. He most recently went after DeSantis in a negative ad campaign. He is not afraid to fight. But uh, as for Michelle Obama, I've spoken to both Democrats and Republicans, and they all agree if Michelle Obama was to run, she would more than likely win it. Uh, you know, obviously, um, Barack Obama, her husband, was the president, and she, a lot of people love her um, in America. She is a woman as well and a woman of color. So a lot of people would uh, support her, and, and definitely everyone thinks she would win. However, I've even spoken to very um, strong Democrats who say that they don't think she wants it and it's a matter of wanting it. Uh, she's not going to do it just because they've asked her to or they want her to or want her to play that role. She doesn't want to do it, they don't think, and if she doesn't want to do it, she's not going to do it. So I don't think we're going to see Michelle in there. It'll be interesting to see who the Democrats pick. I don't think Joe Biden will run again. 
uh, like you said, the approval rating is just dropping so fast. And even more recently, the approval rating among Democrats has dropped even more for Joe Biden. Uh, a lot of people thought that when he won the presidency that he would actually step down fairly quickly uh, using health reasons as a as a reasoning and, um, you know, like Kamala Harris take over, that hasn't happened yet. Some still feel that it could happen before the end of his term, which, you know, we still have two more years. So could Harris be the number one pick for Democrats? I'm not sure. I think Newsom's definitely up there. I think he's kind of the one that'll play dirty. I'm not sure if he'll be the one that they nominate for the presidency, but uh, as for Michelle, I don't think we're gonna see that one. Mm. And Given we saw some support in 2020 for Trump from women drop off, whereas originally when he was elected, he had really high approval. Would Nikki Haley, I've heard some mention about her, would she be considered as a running mate for Trump to try and get back some of that female support? I really haven't uh, looked into to Haley a lot. I Like you have heard her name thrown around a lot. There's been several other names thrown around that are not known. They have... Um, high positions in their states, whether it be, um, you know, a, a judge and things like that. I've heard a lot of names thrown around. I think that it would definitely help him in a way, um, gain that women's support. But I also just feel that, um, and many feel that his uh, Trump's presidency was really just overshadowed by the constant attacks from the Democrats. Like you said, the impeachment and the media going after him he did a lot of good things for the country. I, I think that both Democrats and Republicans can agree to that. He also didn't do things he was going to say. Not every president can fulfill everything that they run upon that they say they're going to do. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. And if he does pick a female running mate, it does seem that DeSantis is the front runner right now. But it'll be interesting to see what women do back him because that can that can play a big role as well. Mm. Fascinating times, Nikki, and uh, the rest of the world always watches on for a presidential election. So thanks again for your time. Enjoy Texas, and we'll see you next week. Thanks so much, Michael. Have a good day.